Welcome back everybody did a little bit of outdoor decoration added in these uh, walls and some vines I mean it's not really a drastic change but it you know kind of breaks it it's not a big square box anymore so that's good and if we head into here I haven't put the dock in but I did you know, get some stairs going up and finished out the interior here. I think today we are just going to work on this building right here. So to start with, I am going to put in a floor of deep slate brick. And if I wanted to tie it into the deep dark ancient city, I guess I'd make the whole thing out of deep slate. I'm just going to put a little bit of touches here and there. A few touches here and there, I guess. A little bit of, just a few touches here and there. So you can tell we've been down to the deep dark. And how did I run out of bricks already? I was sure I had, I was sure I had plenty. Well, those bricks, that's just plain deep slate. Yeah. Boy, there's takes more than I thought. But this kind of shows that yes, they have access to the you know deep mining, but the whole uh, society is not built on it. Because I picture this building here would have come in after the ancient city. So the ancient city was here long, long time ago, and then that civilization disappeared. And then this civilization put in their outposts here um, at the site of the ancient city so you can have access to it. And then I am just a traveler who comes through here looking for things, you know, exploring and just happens to come across these places. Even though you're watching me build it right now, let's just pretend that... Uh, I'm not actually uh, in charge of any of this. I'm just, this is what I would have found if there had been a civilization here before me. So how's that for some lore? It is kind of fun just to make up a story about the place you're building. Otherwise, it's just me building things. And sometimes that can seem a little empty. And I'm going for a very simple build. They're just blocks and walls, blocks and walls. Oh, well, I'm trying to decide what to use for when if I want to put glass windows in here or something else. I think glass windows seem a little fragile for an outpost. This is going to be just one story. So this will be the height of the whole place. Let's see, put that in there, there. So what do I want to use for windows? Although I kind of like the idea of a nice big wide open. Maybe a couple windows there and a couple here. Make a nice big wide open building. So you can see what's going on. And first step, I think the door. I'm going to put the door way over here on this side. Like that. I 
you know, but got some sticks and got some of these. I have a crafting bench. Holy cow, I don't have a crafting bench down here. So let's put in a crafting bench. Make some fences. We'll go with that for that window. So I'm not sure about that one because of the unconnectivity or the disconnection between the fence and the wall. Although I don't know why they don't connect. So I think I will have to go get some glass for those. There, I think I'll do the windows that way. Because I was thinking, do solid bars. Uh, this is a good compromise. I've got glass and bars there. I like the bars because it kind of gives that medieval look I'm going for, or kind of, but the glass lets me see through it, and then this kind of gives it a nice color contrast. So I think that'll work fine. Yeah, I don't see a problem with that. And then now we just need to put a roof on here. I believe I'm going to go with a spruce roof, but we're going to jack this up just one level, and that's where the roof will start. I do need the roof to hang over the edge. So I've noticed sometimes if you just put the roof like going up and stopping at the wall, it looks a little funny. Needs a little bit of an overhang. I guess a drip edge in case it rains and stuff. So then this would be. Is that going to get in the way? Yeah, it might join up over there. We'll have to see how that looks. Let me make a few slabs and stairs and see see how that comes out. If I put the roof here with an overhang, so the overhang Yeah, I think that'll be okay. I was afraid running up against that wall may make it look a little weird. I think it just sort of integrates the whole uh, the whole area together into one section when it's really just a building and then this funny little walled thing going up which really has no design it's sort of almost random blocks placed over there which was totally my fault because I didn't really plan the stairs other than stairs going up and I'm not sure what I was doing with the wall just trying to keep I guess mobs or make it look a little defensive keep moths from crawling up there so that's why it looks a little weird even this building is a little squat and it is kind of small I guess the main air main building is that one way up there on the hill anyhow so this is Basically, just a kickoff launching point. I also thought, let's see if I do. Do I have that? Yeah. Do this. And I think it'll work out good if I mix the blocks here. Because sometimes one solid roof. Uh, doesn't quite look the way you want it to but I've found if you mix the blocks together and make a uh, multi-material roof it looks a little better sometimes 
At least in my opinion. Well, that block took a while to show up. Maybe I need to reboot my server. Although I don't feel any other lag on there, so I think I'm doing okay. So that's there. I think, yeah, I'll do a uh, another layer of these blocks. We'll just go here. I wonder if I should put like a little spire out the top with the uh, lightning rod on top of it. Let's see how this ends up. There. Uh, nope, I don't think a spire would work here. Let's go one, two, three. Actually, it may. If I do, yeah, I just run the spire out the center here. That one, two, three, four. Oh, I know what I'll do. Let's get rid of both of all of this. Instead of one spire, we're going to have two. that well, we're just going to put torches on all of those and then in the middle here we're just going to put that I'm going to have to go over there and take a look and see um, see what that looks like. Yeah, I don't think that looks too bad. I think I'll add a little bit of stuff onto the sides. But overall... Oh! As I slam my face into it. Overall, I think it'll be okay. What I wanted, I'm just gonna.
there. Let's put it on the end. Just send a, a little bit of here and you know things on the outside, I think helps. So that takes care of the outside of the building. Now I just need to finish the inside. So, oops, oh, poof, almost lost those. Now I can just put some lights and stuff in here and uh, move my bed in there. It should be good. So all this stuff that's out here needs to go inside of here. That's it. I want the bed on this side in case there's monsters. So I think best place for the bed would be over in this corner because I th should be as far away from the monsters as I can get. Unless, yeah, I think they. I think that's far enough away, so they can sleep right there. If it does become a problem, I'll move it over on this over farther here. Well, maybe I can do that already. I'll just put it right there. And then I can rearrange the rest of the stuff in here. So I think I've got the main building done. Yes, these are like radio towers or something. I thought it looked better than just a plain roof. Gives it a little different style. So we'll come down here. I'm going to have to figure out something to do with this. Probably involving a gate or two. Oh, and this needs to be walled up too. Which um, probably involves the spruce. Nope, nope, it does not involve those spruce because they do not attach to those walls. Which I already knew. So we'll just have to stick in like that. Very simple on the outside, nothing too fancy. Once you get on the inside, got a nice big space. We have our sleeping bed over here, which should be far enough away from any mobs that we don't have to worry about that. Uh, just a few barrels, a few things for show, a few things for use. And that gets us done with this episode. Next up, I need to move on to the courtyard. I still need to do the uh, dock down below and that tower over there. But I want to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.